Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Really fast, I just want to say if my face looks weird, if I'm talking weird, if I sound weird, I actually got my wisdom teeth out four days ago. It's been 96 hours since my surgery, so that's four days, but I got my surgery five days ago. So however you want to think about that, I am finally feeling a lot better. My swelling is so much better. I do have some bruising on my mouth, so if you're like, what's up with those bruises? Don't worry, I just got my wisdom teeth out. It's January 4th, I wasn't able to film. My surgery was really unexpected. I actually wanted to like vlog the surgery. They're not good or anything, they'll probably never see the light of day, most likely, um, because it's mostly me crying about matcha for some reason. That was unplanned, and because of that, a lot of my video ideas sadly got interrupted. I had my December uh, wrap up, slash my January um, TBR. I had like January like resetting. Um, I had my bookshelf tour. I had all the books that I read in 2021. And all those videos are gonna come. Um, I just feel like they're gonna come really late and not in the peak time that they should be coming out. But you know, it's fine. Um, I do what I can. I'm recovering. And yeah, anyways, this video, like I said, is gonna be my December wrap up slash my January TBR. So let's get started. You wanna note before I get started, I have a book gram now, a book Instagram, all about what I'm reading, my reviews, all that stuff. It's it's essentially just like an extension of Storygraph or Goodreads, but on Instagram. So if you want to follow that or follow like my Goodreads or Storygraph, I'll have it all linked down below so you can follow me and keep updated with my book reads. But yeah, let's get into the wrap up. The first book I have is my nonfiction book of the month. It was Didn't See That Coming by Rachel Hollis. She came out with this last fall, fall 2020, I'm pretty sure. And it was pretty good. I rated it three stars. I know she has a lot of controversy. I actually bought this book um, before like all this stuff about her came out and I'm not gonna like talk about it just because that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, if you wanna learn like why she's a controversial author, you can um, look it up obviously. But I did like this. She has an attitude where it's like you can't cry about your problems, you need to fix them. So if you're not into that type of self-help book, um, I probably wouldn't recommend her. Um, I have her two other books down here. Her first one was Girl Wash Your Face and then her second one was Girl Stop Apologizing, um, we're, which were both, both of them, the, my dog is going to come down. Both of these were really good, um, so that's why I was really excited to read this one, but it was three out of five stars, um, and I think that's because, I think I was trying to keep, like, her, any of my biases away from my review, but honestly, it could have affected it, I'm not really sure. So the next book I read was my book of the month pick, and it's actually a holiday romance. I loved it so much, it's the holiday swap. I actually didn't love it that much. I don't know why I said that. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars though. Very PG. If you're looking for steaminess, would not recommend this one. Um, it gave me like Hallmarky vibes, like very like small town, Christmas, twin swap, like such a Hallmark movie. It was really sweet. I really enjoyed reading it. 4 out of 5 stars. Maybe like a 3.75 stars actually. But I had a lot of fun reading this and I did enjoy it. I didn't hate it. Um, so yeah. The next book I have is actually a five star book. I have wanted to read this since um, November. This was on my November TBR but I didn't get around to it until this month. And guys this book was so good. I actually watched the movie for the first time last year. My friend Libby that's like her favorite movie or one of her favorite movies. And so we decided to read it. She my dog is up there being loud. She decided to read it a few months ago, but I just now read it in December. And it was five out of five, so I really loved it. The movie did such a spectacular job adapting from the book. Um, I was definitely comparing the book to the movie though, and I think like both of them were really good. Like I said, it was five stars. The next book I had, this was the last book I had on my TBR for this month. It's The Intuitionist by Colson Whitehead. Um, this book was really good, four out of five stars. It's actually about elevators, which may seem, not intriguing but it's actually very entertaining and I think he actually had a book come out with book of the month called the Harlem Shuffle. It was this book so I was like whoa same guy. Um, I think this came out in 1999 it was really um, accredited at the time and my English class picked it up and I didn't choose this book to read 
um, when we had that project, but I still wanted to read it. So it was really good, four out of five. I think the meaning behind it was really interesting. It left me confused and shocked, um, but I really liked it. It was really, really, really intriguing. The next book I have is Altered by Amy Stearman. I read this book every single year. It is five out of five stars. I love it so much. It's fantasy, vampire, if you couldn't tell. I love this book so much. It's actually set in Kansas, which is really exciting. Um, I go to KU, if you guys didn't know. I just love this book so much. It is my go-to. It was supposed to be a series, but she's never um, released any more books for it. And this is really embarrassing, but if you look at her Goodreads, there's a comment, and that comment is from me from like five years ago, or uh, maybe more than that, six years ago, asking her if she was gonna come out to uh, come out with a second book. But yeah, I really, really love this author. She will probably be in every single wrap up I do in December or like all the books I read in this year. Um, but yeah, five out of five. Then the last book, actually, this was a yearly devotion. Um, I finished it December 31st. It's Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, Enjoy Peace in His Presence. This was my first yearly devotional I've ever completed, so I was really proud to complete this. Um, and yeah, I've been lugging this around for a year. So I'm finally glad to be like, I'm done with this one. I will come back to it at a different time, but right now I'm done with this one. That was my December wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what I read this month or last month, I guess. I'm posting this a little late. Um, but yeah, let me, go, let me know what you guys read in December, what your favorite book of this year was, and what you plan on reading for the new year. I actually leave for school in like a week. Um, eight days I leave for school in eight days and before I leave I want to do a whole bunch of stuff I want to do a like reset January like reset um, how to meet your goals I want to book related videos I want to do a bookshelf tour um, and then I, I want to do all the books I read in 2021 um, just because I did that last year and I really want to do it especially like while I'm at home with all of my books obviously um, but yeah, that is on the agenda really fast before I end the video though I need to show you guys my book that is on my TBR for January If you guys are new to my channel, you wouldn't know that I actually hate like having a TBR because I'm definitely a mood reader and also I When I don't accomplish reading a book like it just makes me like Upset I guess I feel like people can relate to me on that um but one thing that I do is I want to read one nonfiction every single month. I think I did this the entire month or the entire year of 2021. And so I want to carry it into 2022. So that's the only book that will ever be on my TBR, usually most likely, um, is my nonfiction book of the, the month. So my nonfiction book for January is The Emotional Entrepreneur. Okay, so yeah, I have this book. I've had this since it released. I pre-ordered it, but have wanted to wait to read this until the new year just because it seems like a good reset book and I really am excited um, to read this one. I love Scout's um, two podcasts that she hosts, one with her sister and one on her own, actually called The Emotional Entrepreneur. But yeah, this is my January TBR. Guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys had a great holiday season and you guys are ready for 2022. Um, please wish me to get better quicker. I mean, I'm actually doing really well. Um, I'm really grateful for my great recovery. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys. Just say hi. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. I love you, Vincent. Okay, bye.